Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before him. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. The fashion of majesty hast thou put on, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointed the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who make his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. You who establish the earth and the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle, upon the mountains shall the water stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down unto the place which thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Besides them will the birds of the heavens lodge, from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There where the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth is going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together, and they shall lay them down in their dens. Man shall go forth into his work and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there is this Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it then, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, and chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, I will rejoice in the Lord. Or that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his going down, thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever and unto you ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O our God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein, for our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, 
for their quick release from captivity and safe return. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, the President of the United States and all civil authorities and armed forces everywhere, especially Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Benjamin, Thaddeus, Adam, Alex, Will, Skyler, and Madison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and suffering, especially those suffering from the COVID virus and their families, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, help us, save us, have mercy upon us, keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, I have cried out
put my trust, take not away my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and the traps of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, while I alone escape. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord, did I make my supplication. I brought out my supplication before him, I should be before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, and thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walk, have they secretly laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me, no one cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge, and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. O Christ, possessor of victory over Hades, thou hast ascended the cross, that thou mightest raise with thee those who sit in darkness. O free among the dead, overflowing with life from thine own light. O mighty Savior, have mercy upon us. The righteous shall wait for me until thou recompense me. Today hath Christ trodden down death, and hath risen, as he said. He hath given joy to the world, that we might all shout in praise. O fountain of life, O unapproachable light, and almighty Savior, have mercy upon us. Out of the depths I have cried to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice, O Lord, who art all in all creation, whither shall we sinners flee from thee? To heaven, for thou dwellest there, or to Hades, for there, there thou art the trampler over death, or to the depths of the sea, for there is thy hand, O Master. In thee, therefore, seek we refuge, and we thee do we worship beseechingly. O thou who didst rise from the dead, have mercy upon us. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. The Lord ascended to the heavens to send the Comforter into the world. Wherefore the heavens made ready his throne, and the clouds his mount. The angels wonder as they see a man more exalted than they. The Father receiveth into his bosom him who is eternally with him. The Holy Spirit commandeth all the angels. Lift your head, O princes, and all ye nations. Clap your hands, for Christ hath ascended whither he was before. And mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. The cherubim were surprised, O Lord, at thine ascension. When they beheld him who sitteth on them, ascending upon the clouds. Wherefore we praise thee, for thy mercy is true glory to thee. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited upon thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. Having beheld at thine ascension on the holy mountains, O Christ, the splendor of the Father's glory, we praise the likeness of thy radiant appearance. We worship thy passion and honor thy resurrection, glorifying thy glorious ascension. Have mercy upon us. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel trust in the Lord. Ere the morning star from the womb hast thou born, from the father motherless ere the ages. Though Arius reckon thee not God but a creation, rashless and set 
restlessly, identifying thee, the Creator, with things created, storing up fuel for the fire eternal. But the council gathered in Nicaea, proclaimed that thou, O Lord, art truly the Son of God, one with the Father and the Spirit in rank. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. O my Savior, who hath thus rent thy raiment, Thou didst say it was Arius who sundered the Trinity's headship, which is one in rank and honor, that thou art one of the most holy Trinity he disputed. He taught Nestorius the godless not to say Theotokos, but the council gathered in Nicaea pro proclaimed that thou, O Lord, are truly the Son of God, one with the Father and the Spirit in rank. Praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people. Keep in his eyes shut that he might not see light. Off the cliff of sin, Arius fell headlong. His bowels were torn by a divine hook. And he gave, that he gave up swiftly and violently both his soul and all of his substance, having become in disposition and ways another Judas. <clears throat> but the council gathered in Nicaea proclaimed that thou, O Lord, art truly the Son of God, one with the Father and the Spirit in for his mercy is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Mad and senseless Arius once divided thee, all holy trinities, one domain, and made thus three essence, dissimilar and foreign. Hence the God-bearing fathers gathered together in their fervor, burning with zeal like great Elias the Tishbite, and they cut down with the sword of the All-Holy Spirit the wretched that touched such shameful doctrines of blasphemy as God the Spirit revealed to them.
must be attentive. O gladsome light of the Holy Lord, we appear what to Father, heaven be holy, blessed Jesus Christ, having come to the setting of the sun, and he had the light of evening. We praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God, at all times thou art worthy. We thou art worthy are of praise in songs as some Having heard that Lot, his nephew, had been taken captive, numbered his own home-born servants, 318, and pursued after them to Dan. And he fell upon them at night, he and his servants who were with him, and he smote them and pursued them as far as Chobol, which is on the left of Damascus. And he recovered all the cavalry of Seldom, and he recovered Lot, his nephew, and all his possessions, and the women and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after he returned from the slaughter of Chodol o Gomor, and the kings with him to the valley of Sabe. This was the king's dale, and Melchizedek, king of Salmon, Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed Abram and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, who made heaven and earth, and blessed be the Most High God, who delivered thine enemies into thy power. Reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Thus said Moses to the sons of Israel, Behold, God hath delivered the land before you. Go in and inherit the land which I swore to your fathers Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, to give it to them and to their seed after them. And I spake to you at that time, saying, I shall not be able by myself to bear you. The Lord your God hath multiplied you, and behold, ye are today as the stars of heaven in multitude. The Lord God of your fathers adds to you a thousandfold more than ye are, and bless and bless you as he, as he has spoken to you. So I took of you wise and understanding and prudent men, and set them to rule over you as rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds and rulers of tens, an instructor for your judges. And I commanded your judges at that time, saying, Hear the cause between your brother, and judge justly between a man and his brother and the stranger that is with them. Thou shalt not have respect to persons in judgment. Thou shalt judge small and great equally. Thou shalt not shrink from before the person of a man, for the judgment is God's. Wisdom. The reading is from Deuteronomy. Thus said Moses to the sons of Israel, Behold the heaven and the heaven of heaven belong to the Lord thy God, 
the earth and all things that are therein. Yet the Lord chose your fathers to love them, and above all nations, as at this day he chose you out of their seed after them. Therefore ye shall circumcise the hardness of your heart, and ye shall not harden your neck. For the Lord our God, he is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great and strong and terrible God, who doth not respect persons, nor will he by any means accept a bribe, executing judgment for the stranger and orphan and widow, and he loveth the stranger to give him food and raiment. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him, and shalt cleave to him, and shalt swear by his name. He is thy boast, and he is thy God, who hath wrought for thee these great and glorious things, which thine eyes have seen. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians, for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for our brethren, the priests, deacons, and monks, for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us who here and in all the world I sleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and pardon and remission of sins for the servants of God, all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and dwell in this community. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who serve and those who sing, for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes, Blessed art thou, Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, a Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, o Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, never Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. For 
thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all, and to thy Spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To God, who didst bow the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind, look upon thy servants and thine inheritance. For unto thee, the fearful judge, who yet lovest mankind, have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy, and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By resurrection of Christ our Savior, the angels in heaven praise, Make us who also are on earth worthy to praise thee with a pure heart. The Lord is king, yet, and hath clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is robed, he hath girded with strength. Thou hast demolished the brazen gates of Hades, and crushed its bars. For thou art almighty God, and didst raise fallen mankind. Wherefore do we cry to thee in unison, O thou who didst rise from the dead, O Lord, glory to thee. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. Christ God, when he wished to raise us from the old fall, was nailed on the cross and placed in the grave. He it was whom the ointment bearing women did seek, wailing with tears and saying, Woe to us, Savior of all! How didst thou consent to occupy a grave? And after thy lying therein willingly, how was thou stolen? How was thou removed? And what place screened thy life-bearing body? Yea, appear to us, O Lord, as thou promise us and put a stop to the shedding of tears and as they wailed behold an angel shouted to them saying cease wailing and say to the apostles that the lord is risen granting the world forgiveness and great mercy Holiness befits thy house, O Lord, forever, forevermore. O Christ God, thou wast crucified, as thou wilt. Thou ledest death captive and arose in glory on the third day. For thou art God, grant, granting the world eternal life and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come ye assemblies of orthodoxy, let us celebrate today in faith 
the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. O most holy Theotokos, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and her truly theotokos be magnified thee. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, May he who ascended in glory into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God the Father for our salvation, and rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God bearing fathers especially the 318 of the First Ecumenical Council in Nicaea, whom we commemorate today, of St. Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the martyrs Hermias of Comana in Cappadocia, and the magician Maris, who believed through him, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Oh.